Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So I am filming this video on Monday morning of my very, very busy week um, leading up to my big end of the season market this weekend. Now I'm gonna be filming other videos this week in prep for that big market, so I'm not gonna go into that a ton in this video, but the market that I'm doing this weekend is called the Made and Found Midwest Market. I will link it down below in the description. Last year, I completely sold out in two and a half hours, and so I am really amping up what I am taking to the market this weekend, which includes pumpkins. And it is late morning right now, and I am just gonna start my pumpkin harvest, so I wanted to set up the camera and take you guys along on my harvest. So the areas I'm gonna be harvesting this morning include a trellis area that is right behind me here, another one that is outside the fence. Those are mostly mini pumpkins, and then my huge pumpkin bed that is on the outside of the fence. I have a 96 foot long bed with about 22 different hills of pumpkins. So before I start harvesting, let me just show you what these areas are looking like right now. It's late morning, it was pretty wet out here this morning and so I wanted to let things dry a bit. Um, a lot of the areas are taking on powdery mildew because it's the end of the season, which is totally normal in my area, so it's definitely time to get these harvested. Okay, so here is that trellis that is on the inside of my garden that I was talking about. There's so many vines on top of it, you cannot even see that it is under there. Um, but you can see all of the vines really vining out. These are all mini pumpkins. So this is something that I'm going to be harvesting this morning. Now let me take you on the outside of the fence to show you the other trellis I have and then also my hills of pumpkins that I'm going to be harvesting. Okay, so here is a look at my other trellis. The trellis you can see is actually um, right here, which you can barely see it. This is the Titan Squash Tunnel from Gardener's Supply, and you can see the vines are going that way and all the way this way. So I know I have a lot of mini pumpkins in there to harvest. In this area, you can tell is definitely taking on the powdery mildew. Let me just give you a close-up of what that looks like. So this is what powdery mildew looks like. It turns the leaves completely white. Um, the only way to really get rid of it is to cut all of the leaves off and put them in a garbage bag. Um, I did that in an area of my bed where I have all of my hills of pumpkins planted, but um, with this it's about impossible to keep it from spreading. So it's just time to get a bunch of these harvested. So here is a look at my pumpkin bed. It starts all the way over here and spans all the way down there towards the end of this neighboring building. This is 96 feet long. I still have some pretty healthy areas, um, which this one is a pretty healthy looking area. I'm wondering if this particular variety is downy mildew resistant. Um, but once we get over here, you can see there's not as many vines. They're starting to die off. And then if we get past these raised beds, you can see this area is completely open. This was completely full of powdery mildew, so I ended up cutting it back just to slow the spread a little bit. And then as we come down here, um, this vine looks really, really healthy, but then some of these do not. You can see the leaves are really starting to die off. So it's mid-September, it's just time. A lot of these pumpkins are ready to harvest, so I'm just gonna go through and see what's ready to harvest and those are the ones I'm gonna harvest today. So I just wanna show you a close-up of some of the pumpkins that are in here. This is a white variety and I'll have to look at the tag, um, but this one I can tell has been really, really productive. And these might be ready to harvest. I'm sorry the lighting is not ideal here, but um, the stems, you wanna look at the stems and make sure that they are starting to get really dark or even brown. And that's when you know that your pumpkins are ready to harvest. You can also feel the skin of the pumpkin to make sure it is nice and hard. Now looking at these, see these little pumpkins? I, which I hope you guys can see this. Let me get some sunlight on there. See how that stem is still really light green? Those are not ready to harvest. So those are ones that I will not be picking today. So obviously I'm not gonna harvest everything that's in here, but I wanna harvest as much as possible. And then I will come back at the end of the week and see if there's a few more that have progressed. 
All right, so I'm gonna get harvesting. Again, like I said, I'm only gonna harvest the ones that I know are ready. And then at the end of the week, I will come back through and look again to see have any more progressed a little bit more that they can harvest. I don't wanna harvest anything that's premature and then take it to the market and have it not last for the customer. Um, so I'm just gonna do whatever today that I know is ready. As I harvest these, I will put them in piles with the label so that at the end of the video, I can show you everything that I have harvested and what all the varieties look like. All right, I better get to harvesting. Okay, I am done harvesting from today. I am really worn out. It is getting really hot out here. It's supposed to be 90 today, so I'm really glad that I got this done this morning. Anyway, let me show you what I harvested today. I have them in piles out here by variety that I wanna show you. There are still quite a number on the vines that I just didn't think were ready. I have, uh, let's see, it's Monday. I have till Saturday for the market. So I will probably check everything again um, Thursday or Friday just to see if there's a few more that I can harvest, especially the mini pumpkins. Um, but let me go show you what I have so far. Okay, here's one area. There's another area down there. So I just wanna go through the varieties with you guys and I'll try not to put a shadow on here. So here are my mini pumpkins. Um, this is a variety called um, Baby Boo, Little Boo, something like that. Uh, there's still a ton of those on the vine, but I wanna wait a few days just for them to ripen up more. The orange in here and the orange over here were clearly the winner for the mini pumpkins. Those are Hooligan. Then this is Casparita. There are still a few on the vine for those. And then check out this one. This is a winner too. This is called Snowball. There's probably at least a dozen more on the vine I'm gonna let go. That is a must plant for next year. Then we move over to these piles. Um, clearly not winners for me. This is Autumn Crown. This is Autumn Frost. Um, definitely not a good yield for me on those. Then this is sunlight, which is supposed to be a yellowish pumpkin. I got five, you know, that's okay. This is midnight. Okay, yield on that. Um, this one is Blanco. So three nice big ones on that, which might be okay um, for one vine. Then this one I love. This is called Blaze. I had two hills of these. I bet there's still a dozen of these on the vine too. I want to, to go just a little bit further, um, but these are awesome. This might be a Cherokee bush. I couldn't really tell because the vine was coming from the other direction, but either way, it's a nice one. Then we're gonna go over here. So you can see I still have a few Blaze on the vine. I'm gonna let those go. Those will be ready by the end of the week. This pile is awesome. So these are black futsu, which the coloring on these is just super cool. I'm planting those for sure again next year. Then we move over to mint prints, which are large pumpkins. Then I think these are all Connecticut field. I do have a few of these inside that I harvested a couple weeks ago. Then this, this is my favorite. Um, this is Silver Edge. I love those. I have a few of those inside that were harvested earlier. Um, this white one is Moonshine. Then we have Winter Luxury, which check out the pattern on these. There are a lot of these still on the vine too, a couple which are really close. And so I'm hoping by the weekend those will be ready. And then the last one, Definitely my favorite, this is hot chocolate. There's also a few of these I'm gonna let go a little longer, but this is kind of a taupe color. So pretty. That is a must grow for next year as well. And as you can see, my vines, a little bit trampled, but there's still some pumpkins out there and I'm also sure that I missed some. So I will check them again the end of the week. 
Okay, so that is it for the first phase of Pumpkin Harvest 2022. I am so excited with what I have so far. And again, I'm gonna be checking these vines the end of the week to hopefully harvest at least um, a couple dozen more. So those should really add to my booth for the market. So you'll probably be seeing this video tomorrow, um, which will be Tuesday of this week. And then I will be posting prep videos, um, harvest videos throughout the end of the week and next week whenever I get them edited and posted. And that big market is Saturday. I hope to get some footage from that, although I have to shoot a wedding on Saturday too, which is really disappointing. I mean, I shouldn't say it's disappointing. This wedding, I'm actually really excited for. They're a super fun couple. Um, they have been booked uh, for a year and a half. And so it was booked before last year's market. Um, but it's just a bummer that I can only work my booth for an actual hour um, on Saturday. But um, one of my best friends is working it for me. She's gonna be amazing and she's really excited. So I'll be able to see the Venmos come through on my phone and then I'm sure she'll text me updates too. So anyway, enough rambling from me. Um, stay tuned for a lot more for this big market that I am doing. It's gonna be an exciting week. So stay tuned, we'll see you soon.